one. Hi everyone, I'm Elle Lancaster. I'm from Yakima, Washington. I go to the United States Naval Academy. If you don't know what that is, it's a four year military college and it's free. So that means I don't pay tuition to go there, but I owe at least five years of service in the Navy or the Marine Corps after that. Um, I wanted to go because I really like the idea of serving the country and being a part of something bigger than myself. And also for practical reasons, I don't have to pay to go there and I have a guaranteed job out of the Navy or out of the Academy, which is really cool. Um, it's really fun and it's also really annoying at times because there's like rules that I have to follow, but I have some of the best people and best friends there with me. Um, so what my future is going to look like is once I graduate, I commission as an officer in the Navy or Marine Corps. Um, I'm interested in flying. I can be a pilot if I want to, or I want to go maybe submarines. Um, but there's a bunch of other things you can do. You can go fly into aviation. You could uh, go on a ship. You could go on a submarine. You could go to the Marine Corps. You could be a Navy SEAL, or you could do explosive ordnance disposal and much more. Um, so if you want to go to the Naval Academy or any other college that of your dreams, I would say stay on top of your grades and get involved in extracurriculars, whether that be sports or just clubs or teams or anything. Um, and yeah, know what you want to do and go for it. So if you are interested in the Naval Academy, there's a whole application process that you go through. Um, you fill out the main application on the Naval Academy website. And then uh, you also have to get a congressional nomination, whether that be with the congressman that represents this district or the other senators of Washington. Um, and then once you get your nomination, you can uh, do your physical test. So I had to do a, something called a candidate fitness assessment where I did two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups. Uh, I ran a mile as fast as I could. I did as many pull-ups as I could. You throw a basketball, just stuff like that to gauge how well, how physical strong you are. Um, and then you also have to go to the doctors to get medically qualified, medically cleared to make sure there's nothing wrong. If you've had past in injuries, they're going to check that out and make sure it's all good now. Um, and then once that's all good, that's, that's pretty much everything. You also have interviews uh, with um, like your blue and gold officer. A blue and gold officer is someone who went to the Naval Academy is interviewing you to make sure that, that, someone, that you're someone that they want at the Academy. Um, and then once that's all done, you just wait and see if you got it. So a lot of the time I get asked, what's my daily life like there? What do I do every day? So it's different if you're a freshman and if you're an upperclassman. But now I wake up at 6.30 in the morning and I go to the formation and breakfast at 7 a.m. every day. Then I go to classes. So it's like every other college, I have class from like 8 o'clock to 11.45 a.m. Then we have formation again and then lunch. So everybody goes to lunch at the same time, which is really cool. And then I have school again, afternoon classes from about 1.30 to 3.30. And then after that, you're supposed to go work out and you can do, it's like sports period. So we have a bunch of sports teams, they go work out and to practice and stuff. And then everybody else goes to work out, go for a run or go lift something or something like that. Um, and then after that, you can do your homework or we'll have like drill, practice parade. Uh, we'll have maybe like a mandatory brief or two with really cool speakers who come to the academy to talk with us. Um, and then you have dinner time at like around 6 30 ish um, And then after that you study you do your academics and then you go to bed and you do it all over again